So we finally got a reveal trailer for the first three DLC characters in Justice 2. Those characters being Red Hood, Starfire and Sub-Zero. Now Starfire is a fan favorite character. I'm excited to play as her. Uh, and we also got Red Hood. Now Red Hood is a fan favorite character as well as Starfire. He was requested a long ago in Justice 1 but never got uh, in Justice 1. So I'm hyped uh, to see him play uh, in the game. We also got Sub-Zero. Now Sub-Zero is a, uh, one of my Mortal Kombat uh, main characters. So, I'm excited for him playing against the other DC Universe characters and uh, it makes sense, kinda, for him to be in the, the second Injustice game because Scorpion was in the first one as a DLC character and uh, yeah, now uh, I made this uh, video not talking about my reaction about the first three DLC characters but the about the six silhouette that appeared in the end of the re this reveal trailer. Uh, in these uh, six silhouettes uh, in one DLC pack it's obviously teased uh, Black Manta and in the other one it's uh, Raiden. We also got there are four silhouettes. I'm going to state my opinion about this for now. We still don't know their identity, who they are, but uh, there's uh, already uh, some thoughts going around about uh, who the silhouettes are and about who these characters really are. And uh, the first character, counting from the left to the right, in the left side of Black Manta, it will probably be John Constantine uh, or uh, Booster Gold or Johnny Cage. Now, these three characters were teased a while back by Edwin, so I'm guessing one of them will make it to the game as DLC. I'm really hoping that it is, in fact, John Constantine because he is a fan favorite character. And I really like John Constantine as a DC character. Uh, on the right side of Black Manta, I, I think it is probably Spawn or Wildcat. But it will be probably Spawn because I think he has those chain type of stuff in his waist. And, and he was teased a while back by a boon uh, as well. And he also has those little horns going around his head and uh, in the right DLC pack we have Raiden in the middle and uh, probably in the right side of Raiden uh, I'm guessing Vixen um, because she has those claws or pointy nails as her hands and uh, like uh, with skirt clothing type of stuff now, on the left side of Raiden, I think it will be a uh, Hellboy or a Beast Boy. Now, there's a theory going around that says that uh, Beast Boy uh, is in fact a gorilla in a gorilla transformation mode in this silhouette, and uh, when he is revealed, he will transform back to his human form. and. Uh, I enjoyed very much that theory because I like Beast Boy, he's a fan favorite character and I am really excited to see how they will implement his transformations to uh, the game and so that's a curiosity that I have. Hellboy because he was as well teased by a boom a while back in a voting poll I would really like him to be in the game as well. So concluding. Uh, my opinion on the silhouettes. I will be hoping that it is an infect Bryden and it, he is just a placeholder and we get Hellboy or John Constantine or even both 
because I want those two characters uh, really bad. I really want the John Constantine and Hellboy to be playable in Justice 2 as the DC characters. And yeah, I only want uh, a spot that could have been a spot given to a, another DC character to be to another Mortal Kombat character. So that's all folks. And uh, if you have an opinion or a comment that you that you might want to give, leave it down below and uh, see you in the next video.